name is Jahan Giron. Um, I'm half black and half Navajo, Diné. And then my clans are Twilich Eatney, Bitterwater clan, and born for Tlaxche, the Red Bottom People clan. And then of course, uh, African American on my dad's side. <clears throat> I am uh, an enrolled Navajo tribal member. I didn't have to go through any process, you know, it was just written, you know, <laughs> I think my mom, you know, probably did it, Certificate of Indian Blood when I was born, so I didn't have to do anything. Um, I think for Navajo Nation, you have to be one fourth blood quantum to be an enrolled member of the tribe. Um, so I guess the question of what do I think of blood quantum? <laughs> um, I know a lot of Navajo people too who are, or I know Navajo people who are full blooded Navajo people who don't enroll their kids or themselves because they're kind of rejection, rejection of that kind of federal system of keeping track of native people and Navajo people. <clears throat> so I definitely think that the blood quantum is not, not what we should be using to determine um, indigenousness, indigeneity or Navajoness, um, because it was set up to keep track of how much blood was being weeded out of tribes with the eventual goal of that tribe to kind of disappear into mainstream society. <clears throat> and I also don't think like what your blood is necessarily determines how Navajo or native you are. Um, Cause I know people too who are like full-blooded native of a bunch of different tribes, but not enough to enroll in any of them, you know, <laughs> um, which is a problem. And then I know a lot of Navajo people who aren't necessarily like concerned with upholding, you know, Navajo values or spirituality or kind of worldview. So I think, you know, <laughs> but I also know a lot of people who have kind of like been adopted into the tribe even, or <clears throat> um, who have a, um, a value of learning and protecting and upholding the traditions, language, culture, spirituality, and worldview. And um, to me, that's a, a better measure of Navajo people because, <clears throat> you know, I think after extermination, the, the whole goal was assimilation into mainstream society. So at one point, if we all just continue to like go along with mainstream society and our, you know, live our lives that way, then what makes us Navajo then, <laughs> um, you know? Um, and I think what makes Navajo people Navajo is that they are um, attached to a place um, in every way. And it's kind of like maintaining that attachment is important. And I think what a lot of our ancestors fought for. So, I mean, I don't think the blood quantum necessarily fits into that wish but <clears throat> I also believe in something called um, blood memory too that <laughs> like actually having some sort of Navajo blood or whatever blood does give you a, 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 a spark <laughs> that you can light inside you to kind of start to connect you to your ancestors or your way of life so it's kind of like I'm not saying that blood's not important or doesn't play a role. Um, and then I think for the Navajo tribe, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have heard about the recent debates that have been going on around language with the Navajo presidential election. So I think that that's another thing that's similar to blood quantum. It's like that question is important and like prevalent to us today about who is Navajo and what does it mean to be Navajo because we're actually very diver diverse. You know, people who, like half of the population lives on the reservation, half the population lives off the reservation. Um, there are, you know, Christian Navajos, there are Mormon Navajos, there are Navajos who are traditional, Navajos who do Native American church, Catholic Navajos, you know, <laughs> there are Navajos who speak the language, Navajos who don't speak the language. So it's like, it's, um, it's an important topic is, <laughs> is basically what I'm saying and like, who is Navajo and what does it mean to be Navajo? Um, I feel like it's a debate that is about to happen or a larger discussion that start, had started to happen um, and move forward. So to me, it's kind of, it's very interesting. 
um, and exciting. We actually 